Uh, my name is Walt Wilcox. I'm a principal at Dean Morgan Junior High School um, here in Casper, Wyoming. I've been head principal here since 2000 and started out as an assistant principal uh, in 1998. We've always been a large school, somewhere between 900 and 1,000 students, so one of the largest schools in the state and definitely in the city of Casper. Um, and with that brought its own challenges, the diversity, a lot of different learning styles, um, a lot of discipline issues, um, and at one point uh, just kind of operated under, uh, I call chasing our tails, where we'd run eight different classes a day, um, the gauntlet of kids in and out, and just uh, uh, a lot of activity and a lot of, a lot of uh, movement and, and uh, times chaos, but organized chaos. Yeah, the climate looks a lot different now. Um, if you'd go back in a time machine 10, 12 years ago, uh, when we first arrived, uh, the administrative team would deal with somewhere around 7,000 office referrals a year. So that would mean in the main office area, kids were lined up in the assembly line waiting to see an administrator and kind of deal with anywhere from low level issues to fights, assaults, battery, uh, drugs, alcohol, tobacco, any of those big ones that kind of scare us as parents or as educators. Um, looks a lot different now. You walk through the offices and uh, we don't seem to have those issues. Um, kids are in the classrooms engaged. Uh, we deal with our share of discipline, but it's dropped to just uh, less than a thousand office referrals a year for a school our size, and we're on a downward trend every year. We reduce about five to ten percent. Um, so it's a lot more time in class, um, a lot more respect. Um, kids and students, it's a safer, healthier environment. Our staff has worked really hard over the years to put in a lot more of the progressive discipline concepts and what that means is uh, we simply are working with the kids. Um, the low level issues, we take care of those things in the classroom. Uh, we made a switch uh, in the early 2000s to a block scheduling system took away half of our transition periods, which means kids were only in the hallways. And what it also allowed us to do was slow things down. Um, instead of classes every 40, 45 minutes, we would break and go to another class and kids were in the hallway moving and getting ready for that. Uh, we're in classes 80 minutes at a time, and that allows us to go a lot deeper into the curriculum, slow things down, and then kids only deal with four classes a day and get a new four the next day, and then we just alternate that. So we've been able to kind of control the pace, create more relationships, the visibility, the focus on the discipline model, all those things came together at once in a lot of our transformation. I think the reputation now is it's kind of seen as Casper's school of choice for the middle level. Um, successful athletics and academics, so uh, we've been able to increase the amount of activities kids can do. Uh, nearly 40 some different activities and clubs they can sign up for. So our, our saying we use is we want kids to get involved in something. Uh, we want them involved, we want them connected, and we want relationships. Uh, the other part is uh, they know we run a strong advisory component. Uh, we run an advisory course here, an advisory track where we loop the kids and keep track of them, build real strong relationships in a small environment every single day. We have that period and we have the responsibilities set up and so it feels like family. It's a family, uh, close knit and even though we're a large school, we're broken into smaller pieces of that school in our teaming environment and the way we have our school structured from lockers to assignments to even teacher assignments. Um, all of our kids at Dean Morgan do take a reading course in 6th and 7th grade, which is a little bit different than most schools. Uh, most of them aren't able to fit that into their schedule, don't have the resources, so that's something we emphasize is literacy across the curriculum. Geez, you go down to our PE people, our shop people, they're working on reading strategies and comprehension strategies and vocabulary development, and uh, it's kind of cool when you see your PE teachers and they've got their word walls and they're emphasizing what the objectives are, and uh, there's much about what goes on in supporting writing and reading as our language teachers in that aspect. So it's a school-wide approach to improve those areas. Our teacher group um, formed this several years back and they formed what's called Comma Block. We're Dean Morgan Comet, so we call it Comma Block. 30 minutes a day, every student uh, is assigned to an advisor that just basically takes those students right under their hand, right under their arm, locks them in, and kind of treats them as, a, I call it a, a local parent, I, a parent here at school, and they adopt them. Um, they're monitoring their grades every week with them, setting goals with them. Uh, they're going over character development components. We run the Code of the West uh, program here just like the state of Wyoming does uh, with, with the legislative body and the governor adopted and so we're, we're big on that for our character development. Uh, we run our registration components, uh, all those things. Then we also take care of additional reading 
strategies within that by giving them more time to work on uh, independent reading and progress monitored reading. What it does is when they walk through the door, we've got at least one person right there that's already connecting with them, looking out for them, and we keep those numbers small. 12, 15 kids in a class at the most, they get to build a family there during that time there at Dean Morgan and uh, you know that when they leave those are the ones they're hugging and they're, they're crying as they're missing those kids and they're getting ready to transition to high school and those are the ones you go into teachers rooms they got pictures of their comma block families um, it's that advisory component that makes it feel real and makes it feel connected and some kids some kids that is their family so it's a big thing <laughs>